Disengage spaceship. Meep, 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 meep. Oh, where's the spaceship? We don't have a spaceship. Helicopter. Commandeer the helicopter. <laughs> oh, hey guys, just a. Just this is how I start my morning some days. Uh, we're playing in the Lego Diecast Museum here. And as you can see, the table is covered in Lego projects. In fact, I just built Skull's Ice Schooner last night. And that really started to cramp up the seaport here. Plans to bring Diecast cars into a Lego city here and have some sort of futuristic something, some sort of stop motion video anyways. Uh, no timeline on that yet, because first of all, I gotta clear off the rest of this mess I've made. I'm going to take you around just give you an overview of the 2021 Hot Wheel main lines that I have on the table. But I need to get these off the table and onto the mainline diecast rack that I have, which kind of keeps me organized on what I've collected this year. That rack is currently covered with 2020 Hot Wheels, all of my choice castings and picks from that year. So we're going to start in this video by going through all of those and putting them into storage, making room for the 2021, which makes room for Lego. It's all going to be good. So what is the problem exactly? Well, the problem, first of all, is the Lego City. But uh, that's kind of a good problem to have and something I want to continue to work on. It is, at the moment, a hodgepodge of pirates, ships, Star Wars things, a lot of large Lego mechs. But I do have a fair number of buildings that I would like to incorporate for the uh, die-cast movie with the, uh, the road plates and all that. So that would be kind of fun. But right now, these main lines that I picked up from 2021, well, they're just spreading all over the table. I do have a fair number of duplicates, I've noticed, which was not entirely intentional. So let's get the 2020 cars off the rack, which I have way over there at the other end of the Diecast Museum, which, as you can see, has also turned into a Lego horde. But uh, anyways, we won't discuss that any further in this video. Because this video is all about looking at these awesome 2020 cars as they get put away into storage. I think I need to bring that uh, display rack somewhere where I've got more room though. It's a little bit jammed up over here in the corner. Kind of dark, so I think I'm just going to move this right on over towards you guys. Luckily, it is on wheels. So it rolls pretty good. Isn't that handy? Be able to get everything off the rack into these Tupperware totes. Looking at every single model as we go. All the variations I picked up. Certainly some duplicates. That just can't be helped. All right. This is going to be awesome. All right. Let's get started here. One last glug of coffee and then we're going to get right into this. Mmm. Okay, so so many cool models. 2020 was a great year. Uh, Factory Fresh, it was a nice lineup of cars. I think I got just about every single one. As you can see on the sides, you've got the number of vehicles in each set, so 10 in total, uh, and then the name of the vehicle. We know these are the 2020 models because of this dark blue tab with uh, 250 models total. That does not include all the color variations, I don't think. No, it doesn't, so there's actually way more than that. Probably like as many as three times as many with uh, Zamac cars, if there are Zamacs and variations in that. But at least double, I would say. I mean, some cars don't have two variations. Like, I don't think the Batmobile has two variations, or I don't think the Flintstone, uh, Flintstone car has two variations. But a lot of them do, like the Porsche 944. So anyways, we're just going to get right into it, uh, kind of going row by row, but we've got the Muscle Mania series to look at, the uh, Baja Blazers, Olympic Games, Porsche series, and some of these series came back for 2021, which is pretty cool. The Batman series, uh, if you hear any creaking, that's just my chair. Let's see, we've got the Art Car series, Emergency uh, something. Down there, Rescue, Hot Wheel Rescue. These were good. The Hot Wheel Roadsters, I like that. 
Speed Blur, Hot Wheel Race Team. Uh, Night Burners is always a nice set. I don't know if that came out for 2021. I don't think it did. Hot Wheel Exotic, that did. And uh, Hot Wheel Dream Garage is another good one. So the 2021 models don't have this dark blue tab. It's actually just the same color blue as the other one. So that's the quickest way to know that you have a 2021 car uh, and not a 2020. Uh, otherwise, the packaging does look pretty much exactly the same. Copyright will be different on the back as far as the year. So we're going to get right into it, I think. We're going to just start here at the top because there's actually a whole other side to this thing. So this is going to be a long video. You might want to grab yourself a coffee as well to get all the way through it. But uh, here's a great model, the 2019 Audi R8 Spider, very nice. And here it is in the alternate white. Which one do you like better? Let me know in the comments what your favorite model is going to be out of all these. If you get through all of watching the whole thing, that is. Aston Martin Vulcan, kind of a funny looking car. And, uh, oh, that's a good one. The Bugatti. Bugatti Chiron, I think. Is that how you say it? It's a little bit dusty. And uh, what do we got here? Tesla Model 3. We've got a new Tesla Model S, I think, in the 2021 lineup. But there's two Model S's that I have in my collection, the blue and gray. So certainly, I'm probably missing a few cars here and there. If you notice any cars that I'm missing that are really cool, let me know what they are so I can hunt them down. Uh, 84 Audi Sport Quattro. Factory Fresh. All right, and now we have the Corvette C7 Z06, and that comes in white or orange. Another Corvette, actually two more. I'm just going to take them off two at a time since I got them kind of in order here. The 19 Corvette ZR1 convertible. I really like that one, especially in the metallic blue. Great that Hot Wheels has got like headlights and taillight details on these things as well. And the 2019 Kia Stinger GT. Blue. I like blue. And the last one in the Factory Fresh series, which I guess I'm missing the color alternate of, perhaps, is the Land Rover Defender 90. Not sure. Was there, a, was there another color for that one? All right. Well, there's the first batch of cars into the storage tote, which eventually all these cars are going to come out of their packaging and this box, for that matter. Years in the future when we do the year by year for 2020, currently at about 1994, so a little ways away yet. Um, 2020 missing cars so far, just decided to go through this list because I really do like Factory Fresh. So I'm just going to make a note that I have like one of each of certain cars. Didn't have number 8 out of 10 of the Factory Fresh car, don't even know which one that is actually. So anyways, a little side note, so uh, you know, helpful comments of course if you have them, uh, but I'm probably just going to go through these and quietly make a list in the background so that I can continue. But I think we're going to continue, as it were, with the Muscle Mania. This looks like a pretty complete set of cars up here, and it looks like I may have them in order, so we'll start with one. I've only got one, a little bit dusty. The 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500, that's a nice one. Very nice. Camera, apologies for camera shake, this is just kind of a holding the camera and looking at stuff. 64 Nova Wagon Gasser. I know I bought a few of these. Who didn't? And there's the alternate. So yes, alternates do exist in the Muscle Mania. Uh, there's the other Gasser. Nice. I don't know if I found as many of that one. Doesn't seem that familiar. I do have quite the memory for Hot Wheels. It's uh, so often get the question, how do I know what I have? Well, I mean, oftentimes I come down and look at what I have before I go shopping. That's a beauty. Almost look like uh, real riders on it. But 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302. I love it. And the other way I know what I have is simply by memorizing these cars. And well, I guess it's not as simple for everyone, but I have a terrible memory actually for a lot of things. But for Hot Wheels, I seem to have some priority space. There's the 84 Pontiac Firebird. I think that might have been the first time we saw that awesome casting, at least with the retool. And, uh, yeah, there's just one of each of these except for that gasser. Interesting. 70 Dodge Charger RT. I don't know why I have two different types of gassers, but only one of every other car. 86 Monte Carlo SS. Awesome casting as well. And what do we got here? The Custom Auto 
Fun fact, one of the most expensive Hot Wheels in the world is a custom auto that's crusted in diamonds and made of solid gold. What a jewel that would be. I guess you could call that a super, super treasure hunt. Muscle bound. Interesting. I don't normally buy a lot of fantasy cars, you'll notice. They're mostly real life cars, but I do sometimes buy a few of them. The 18 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon with the Jegs livery and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Sweet casting. I hope you guys picked that one up if you were collecting 2020 Hot Wheels. All right, I'm going to put these in order, and then we're heading over to Porsche. More notes. More packing. Porsche. So we've got two of this one, as we know. The 89 Porsche 944 Turbo. Really cool. I think that was fairly new uh, casting of that car as well. And how many are in this series? Only five to collect in the Porsche series. So we've got both the 96 Porsche Carreras. Thankfully, what a beautiful casting. I mean, all Porsches are really cool. We've got a blue Porsche Panamera, Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid. Very cool. And looks like the white one as well. What else we got here? This is actually working out better. I'll just put them up here while I'm filming them, then I'll put them in the tote so I'm not swinging the camera everywhere. Porsche 917 LH. Only one version of that one. And only one version of this wicked looking Porsche 918 Spider. Very cool. And now on to a brand that's a little more affordable for most of us. Honda. The Honda Monkey Z50. In two color variations. Very cool. The Prelude. 98 Honda Prelude. This made a return in the 2021 lineup. I believe in white and yellow so far, or red and yellow, one or the other. Looks really nice in these two colors, though, wouldn't you agree? Tail lights, headlights, all detailed. And the Honda 2018 Honda Civic Type R. Very different, completely different graphics for these, which is unusual for variations. Normally, it's just a color variation or a wheel change, but as you can see, these are quite unique. Forgot all about these cars. So nice to go back and look at these for the first time. As you can see, there's about a year and a half's worth of dust on them. Honda S2000. I've only got one of those. Oh no. And only one of these too. 88 Honda CRX. Wonder if there's any variations of those. I'll have to make a note. Baja Blazers. We've got the Land Rover Series 3 pickup truck. Very cool. And there it is in alternate blue. Kind of like a metallic blue, isn't it? The Chrysler Pacifica. Off-road rally van. <laughs> it's kind of a cool idea. Filled with big old spare tires. Ah, the introduction, I think. Was this the first year of this? 20 Jeep Gladiator? I do believe so. And I uh, got it both tan and red. Some of these are international short cards. In Canada, we often get the short cards. Uh, sometimes they're from the United States, actually. 42 Willys Jeep MB. We got one of those, interestingly. So probably a color variation there. And didn't we just already see that one? I think we did. I think we did. Oh, is it a different color? It is a different color. So it's three. Oh, it's a different truck entirely. Looks a lot like the uh, first one that we looked at, doesn't it? Just at first glance, Land Rover Series 3 pickup. It is the same truck, but it's got a different collect number. Oh no, it's the same collect number. Three out of 250. So three different color variations on that one. This is the different one. This is a different truck entirely. The 67 Jeepster Commando. Oh, sorry for the mix up there. And now for the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 lineup of, well, 10 vehicles in total. I certainly don't have all 10. Just picked up what I liked, as I remember there was a lot of fantasy cars in, in this lineup. How much dust is there really going on here? So, 10, the uh, 2010 Toyota Tundra. Cool model, and, oh, we've got multiple variations of that one. Baseball. Baseball, it says. Oh, crunch, crunch. What is this ugly little thing? The high beam. Well, it's kind of cute, actually, isn't it? And, oh, I remember this one, the Toyota 2000 GT. Karate. What was that on the high beam? Artistic Gymnastics. Is that what it said? Artistic? 
And we've got a color variation of the 2000 GT. Ooh, that looks good. That's it. That's all I have for those cars. Now let's go straight into Batman. No, 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 Batman! Batman! The original Batmobile from the TV series, 1966. Very cool. I'm not up on all my Batmobiles and which movies they're from, so I'll let you let me know if you want in the comments. Please do. That's a cool looking one. Gold chromey Batmobile. Oh, it's got a, a chromey variation. Blue wheels. And, oh, another variation with yellow wheels. How many... Are these all the same again, or am I leading you astray? They are indeed all the same. So, very interesting chromey variations there. The bluey chrome with the bluey chrome wheels. Didn't see that one coming. And the bat plane. I don't normally collect a lot of the vehicles, but I guess this one kind of jumped out. Pretty cool. Bat plane. Let's stand. So, that's it. For the Batmobile collection, obviously I'm missing something. All right, what's next? This is not supposed to be here. Hot Wheel Rescue, I saw you. You go down there with your your brethrens. We'll get to you soon enough. We're going to go for the Hot Wheel Screen Time. These are like cinema-based vehicles. So we've got the Flintstones Flintmobile. Pretty cool. And it seems like we have quite a few of these. That was number four of ten. The Ion Motors Thrasher. This one came out in 2021 as well. This one happens to be from a 2020 factory sealed set. So that means I bought that at the Aurelia Diecast local hobby store. Because he does break open the cases, I think, or he at least gets parts of collections like that. Uh, Atana Hato. Atana Hato. Astana Hato. Sorry, mispronounced that. Another one of these. What's that doing here? Is there a variation I'm not aware of? Or... What's going on here? I don't see any real variation, so I must just have duplicates. Uh, 65 Ford Mustang convertible. This is the retool, so no opening hood. I wonder which movie that came from. For show. 70 Chevelle SS. That came from the Fast and the Furious. That's a beauty. Oh, it says right up there. Thunderball 007. Isn't that cool, obviously. And this is a Netflix show. Ah, Halo. I'm obviously missing a variation on this one. The Sword Warthog. Pretty cool. Let's look out for a variation on that. Now, this rack is completely full. This is the Hot Wheel Art Cars. With the fished and chipped. Let me just put them next to each other, I guess. And I know there's a few of these. Oh, look at them all. Three. Got the Zamac version of the 92 Ford Mustang in there. And that is pretty cool. Number six on the roof of that one. Yeah, there you go. The Zamac 2020. So we don't normally get those in our local stores here, unfortunately. Cruiser Bruiser. A couple of versions of that one. I was pretty excited about this casting when it first came out. Not so much uh, anymore. It's kind of... Kind of not, not as cool as I thought it would be. It's just a little bit too weird looking, I think. I don't know. Roger Dodger. Now that one's nice. I like this steampunk look to it. Really, really like the art on that one. And good thing I got both variations of that. Steam. And finally, the Super Van. With the King of Hearts on it. Seem to be missing one, maybe. I don't know. How many variations existed there? Let's zoom in on the Hot Wheel race team. The Grand Cross, so that's a fictional vehicle. And the 2010 Chevy Impala. Alternate in blue. Very nice. I don't think we saw that casting in 2020. And the 2010 Pro Stock Camaro. Ah, and the old Viper. Dodge Viper RT-10. That is cool. I forgot all about that one. Time for Speed Blur. Pretty cool. Baja truck. So that's a fictitious truck. And we have both variations of that. Interesting looking thing. A couple variations here of the Custom 01 Acura Integra GSR. Ooh. 
Cool. And just one left, Indy 500 oval. So how many were in that series? There was five in total. I chose to buy three of them, and I'm missing one variation for sure. Oh, finally, here are some really cool cars. The Hot Wheel Roadsters. 91 Mazda Miata MX-5 with full details, taillights, license plates saying Miata, headlights, a yellow one there. The 16 Lamborghini Centenero Roadster. That, I'm, not, I'm not saying that right. I'm sure of it. Uh, 69 Camaro. That's nice. These are all Roadsters. And the Shelby Cobra 427 SC. Really has never looked better in that beautiful black with those blacked out five spokes. Like it a lot. All right, let's just go two for two. We're already here. We're going to look at the Hot Wheel Rescue. And that is the Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. Looks like we've got some uh, Japanese or Chinese. I don't know the difference between the writing, I don't think. Someone let me know. Uh, Japanese, it would make sense. It's a Japanese car, so probably some Japanese police livery on it. And here we have a, a European Polizia. Is that Italian? No, German. What are you talking about, Italian? German, 92 BMW M3. Uh, gotta go. Oh, these are from another series, Xperia Motors. So, I mean, I only got one of that and one of this. The X Racers, the Linster Prototype. That is pretty cool. It's got the... Uh, oh, I thought it had skinny wheels, but they're just transparent wheels. Well, it's a good thing we did that. We got like four series done in one shot. Now where are we going? Oh, yeah. Night burners. I like the night burners a lot. So we've got the 2018 Bentley Continental GT3. And metallic green. Oh, yeah. I think that was new for, yep, new for 2020. 96 Chevrolet Impala SS. Very nice. Wish they'd made that casting a little bit bigger in scale, but... I've got two of them. And uh, the 89 Mazda Savannah RX-7 FC3. That one made a return for 2021. That's a cool car. And the Porsche 914 Safari. I think that made it into the premium line, actually, for the off-road stuff, if memory serves. And the 19 Mercedes-Benz A-Class, also highly detailed for a main line. Just love it when they do that. And we've got a variation there, so looks even better. Those blacked out wheels in that kind of satin gray. Oh, we've got a couple variations. Just grab them all. And there you go. The Jaguar XESV Project 8. Very cool. Very, very cool. Enthusiasm rises with the night burners. The BMW Z4 M Motorsport. Wow, that looks nice. Couple left down here. Mazda RX-3. I don't know if there were any variations on some of these models. I really don't know. I haven't, I haven't looked into it. McLaren Senna. It's a casting that came back for 2021 as well. I've got the coffee shakes going here. I need to eat something. i got to get through this. Nine, uh, 64 Chevy Chevelle SS. Well, I guess that's it for those. And we've got those two left. And then we got to spin this thing around and get... Oh, i got to go have breakfast. Cream cheese, English muffin, egg sandwich. Mm -hmm. Okay, breakfast is accomplished. So let's take a look at the Hot Wheel Exotics now. Another great lineup of cars. The McLaren P1. The 17 Lamborghini Urus. That one made a re-debut for 2021. The McLaren Speedtail. And uh, the difference in front and back wheel is intentional. It's not an error. The 2020, what is this? Cohen, Cohen Zeg Jesgo. Yeah. Didn't say that right. Uh, Aston Martin D, uh, Aston Martin 177. I was going to say something different. Good thing I read it. Nice details on that one. 
Oh, and here's a favorite. Oh, yes. The Jaguar XJ220. Super cool. Love to see those old castings being reused. And I think that one debuted in about 1993 originally. McLaren P1. That's a nice one. I like the taillights on that. And, okay, we're going to go right on over to, looks to be Hot Wheels Garage, Dream Garage, with the 18 Copo Camaro SS. And this one is equipped with parachute and wheelie bars. Some serious drag racing action. The 2 Jet Z, or Z. It's a fantasy car, I do believe. And what have we got here? Oh, Bone Shaker with the roof. I always like the Bone Shaker casting. And also, uh, 2005 Ford Mustang. And this one also appears to be set up for some sort of high-performance run. These are all still the Dream Garage. Okay, so we've got a variation here. The 18 Copo Camaro SS. And looks like I have a duplicate on a shorty card. And a few more hiding down here. Oh, that... 52 Hudson Horton, Hornet. The 52 Hudson Hornet. That's a nice one. Mattel Dream Mobile. That one came out in 2021 as well. And it looks like celebrating 1945. So 75 years of Mattel in 2020. Who would have thunk it? I mean, Hot Wheels were first created in 1968. So Mattel had been around making Barbies and whatnot long before. Hot Wheel Dream Machine, the final one. Custom 71 El Camino. Very cool. Really like that casting as well. Very Mad Maxular. Let's spin this thing around. See what's on the other side. And a whole new side presents itself. Where are we going to start? Let's see. I guess right at the top with Hot Wheel Hot Trucks. Looks pretty cool. Got lots of these ones too. The Rod Squad, Hot Wheel Flames, Hot Wheel Speed Graphics, Race Day. Ooh, look at those. Hot Wheel Turbo. Lots of Turbo. And a few just little random collections I have by the looks of it. Batman in there. We already looked at Batman. Those are going to be duplicates. Start with the Rubber Ducky. Look at that. Duck and Roll. That's pretty cute. Glad I picked that one up. I guess that's a fantasy car. Now we'll just kick off these last little fantasy cars before we get into the Hot Wheel Hot Trucks. Uh, we've got Tuned Surf, surf and Turf. Huh, that's kind of cool. These out of the way. What was that from? I don't even remember. Okay, that's from the Tuned selection. RV there yet. <laughs> How come I don't remember calling it that? I'm pretty sure that's a cool name. 70 Volks, Volkswagen Baja Bug. I really don't normally buy ones that look like this. I wonder what was what was I thinking? And the Road Bandit. Kind of a weird looking school bus, I guess. And from Hot Wheel Metro, got the uh, Hot Wheel Armored Truck. Very cool. Plastic body on that one. And those are the Batman cars. Okay, let's go up and look at those trucks and work our way down through this collection. Well, so far we've filled up one whole Sterilite case. So we're going to get another one going here. And I did discover I have all the duplicates are down here on the bottom. So some of those are accidental. Others are intentional. We're not going to really probably look at the duplicates. This is going to be a long video as it is. But let's look at the Hot Wheel Hot Trucks. Pretty cool lineup. Whoa. We've got white and black on that 19 Chevrolet Silverado Trail Boss LT. Looks really cool. What does it have on the back? Better Tech. Bell Bellatech? I don't know. Can't see. I can't see. Oh, we're starting with one. We'll start with one. Look at that one. The 99 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. Very nice. And we've got the 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel. That one was released in 2020 as well. Or 2021. 91 GMC Cyclone. Mm, limited details in the front, strangely. And we've got two versions of that one. 
think this was the first release, if I'm not mistaken. I got all these in the way now. Can't do that just yet. We need to clear up some space. Get these out of the way. Everything's going blurry on me. Got a new new camera phone coming, so hopefully the video quality will improve. Here is a Datsun 620 in flat red. Now we can do that. And the Sandblaster Borla. The Borla exhaust truck. Really like that casting, even though it is, I think, made up. And the 69 Chevy pickup in kind of a drab gloss green. All right, let's go over and check out some Rod Squad. Variation right out on top with the Chevy Big Air Bel Air. I think this was the debut for this casting, although I'm not exactly certain. Very cool. The Lucas Oil livery. I like that casting a lot. And uh, where are we going to go next? Let's see. We've got two of these. Classic 49 Ford F1 pickup trucks. Check out the paint job on this one. Wow, it's like luminescent. And we've got like the pumpkin orange version. And a pair of Novas, 68 Chevy Novas. With that classic uh, war paint kind of look and camo. Usually seen on fighter planes of yesteryear. And what else have we got? It's like hunting for Hot Wheels at the store, but getting everything you want, isn't it? Eight crate. It's been a while since I've seen an eight crate. I like the white wall, blacked out five spokes they chose for that top model. And this is from at the very back. Another old model, the 57 Chevy. It's not the blown version. And I like the uh, rusty look on it. It's kind of like a rusty patina. Hopefully there's a duplicate color lurking in here somewhere of that one. The 49 Volkswagen Beetle pickup. No alternate there. Oh, we do have an alternate on this one, so quite likely I'm missing a variation on that 57 Chevy. Uh, another patinaed couple vehicles. The 52 Chevy pickup with the Mighty Max Garage. Oh, I like that one. Let's go nice. Oh my, okay. I'll do that later. Hudson Hornet times two. 52 Hudson Hornet. I think we already looked at the Hudson Hornet, didn't we? Or am I starting to imagine things? I think we did. We did. We did see the Hudson Hornet. So that one was out of place. Just a duplicate. Okay, let's move on down to the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics Series. And in this selection, we have a pair of 68 Dodge Darts. Very nice in that metallic blue or pearl blue and pearl green. That was number 5 out of 10. 4 out of 10. Just got the one. 65 Mustang 2 plus 2 Fastback with the Golf livery. Falling off the hook here. Uh, track stars. This one's the 2008 Lancer Evolution. Number one of ten. Number two of ten. The 2018 Ford Mustang GT. Nice. This one looks familiar as well. Borla -like exhaust. I think that was on the truck though, the Sandblaster that we just looked at. Oh, and we've got two variations of that. So that would pair nicely with the Sandblaster. Number three of ten, the 19 Ford Ranger Raptor. Some interesting graphics on the roof and hood. I like that cracking pavement look. And only one here of the 17 Nissan GTR R35. Very nice. Nicely detailed. And let's see, one of this one. 87 Dodge D100. K&N livery. Oh, we've got variations here on the Nissan Silvia S13. Metallic pearl blue and charcoal. Wicked details on the taillights. And everybody's favorite car to collect, the Datsun 510 Bluebird Wagon. With the Momo livery. Uh, black and red. 
Okay, let's get those put away and look at some Hot Wheel Flames. I always like this series. There's usually some good cars and variations sometimes in here. I don't know actually if there's variations, but we'll start with the 49 Merc convertible. One of ten, number two of ten, the 57 Plymouth Fury. Beautiful casting. And there are variations. Here we have it in pearl white, the Goodyear livery. And let's see, just one of this beauty, 64 Chevy Nova Wagon. One of my favorite castings of 2020. And the 67 Camaro. Oh, it's got a big chip on the pillar. I think I've got a duplicate of that one. Number 5 of 10, of course, is the Shelby Mustang, which we do have Shelby GT500, I should say. Pearl purple and pearl blue. And let's see, we've got one of this car. 73 Ford Falcon XB. And 69 Dodge Charger 500. I remember when this casting used to have an opening hood. No longer. Variations exist for the custom Ford Maverick. Flat black with an orange interior. That's kind of wild looking. And then a more standard pearl metallic red. Final car, number 10 of 10, is the 65 Ford Galaxy. Really cool paint job. Some green windows. And saving the absolute best for last, that'll be these Turbos, Hot Wheel Turbo Series. There's a lot of good castings in there. We're going to look at race day. We've got just a few out of the 10. So we've got the 76, Gre 76 Greenwood Corvette. White plastic base, transparent headlights, pretty neat. Variations uh, do exist, it appears. I'm missing some. 85 Honda City Turbo 2. Very cool little casting. And behind that, got the Dodge Viper SRT 10 ACR. Great graphics on that car. The Ford GT40 with the Golf livery. Kind of a copper chromey wheel, SP5. Oh, and my favorite. One of my favorites. I think this was just the first release of this Volvo 850 estate wagon. I'm not exactly sure. But we've got it here in metallic blue and white. One of the last two cars. Another variation on the Alpine A110 Cup. That's a cool little car. Okay, let's get into turbos. So right off the bat, we can see there are five cars in this series. The 98 Subaru Impreza uh, 22B STI version. And we have that one in metallic blue as well. The gold 10 spokes. Wow, those look nice. Very nice. And we've got two of this car, number four out of five. That's the 95 Mazda RX-7. Looks real spiffy in that pearl blue with Mazda Speed graphics on both of them. And what we got back here, just one. Nissan Skyline GTR uh, BNR32. Tail lights are detailed. And so we're missing a variation on that one. That's too bad. The Audi RS5 Cube. Very nicely detailed front end, as you can see. Both of them. And the back. Wow. Those are nice. So it looks like the complete set minus the one variation of the Nissan Silvia. Uh, final one in the Turbo Series is the Range Rover Velar. This one has a plastic roof that's integral with the windows. And you've got a choice of colors there. Black or kind of like a dark metallic red. And as for the duplicates, well, I better check to see that I don't have anything that I'm looking for in here. So there you go, that's my whole 2020 collection of Hot Wheel mainlines fitting nicely into two Sterilites. 
I made some notes of the missing cars that I potentially have. Uh, basically just a list of possible color variations and cars in the series that I mostly collect that I'm missing. So we're going to take a look down here, see if anything catches my eye. Hot wheel shopping. Hot wheel shopping. I think I just looked through all this stuff, so. It's pretty cool cars in here. Nothing really jumping out at me there that I need. And we'll just spin this whole thing around. Whoa! And, ooh, we got some nice duplicates in here, though. Very nice duplicates. In the Honda series, the Turbo series. But I don't think anything's going to be jumping out at me. I'll let you know if it does. Just a lot of nice duplicates. After looking at about 250 Hot Wheels, it's hard to tell what I need and what I don't need just by looking at it. So it doesn't, nothing's jumping out at me. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. Lots more coming up. Happy hunting.